Hi YouTube, welcome to another edition of Horror Hands and for this video I'm going to be talking about Horror of the Blood Monsters. Now, this is a film that I didn't know anything about. I bought it solely because of the title which might seem a bit silly but Horror of the Blood Monsters just sounds so cool. I mean horror, blood and monsters is like the three things that I look for in every film. So, Horror of the Blood Monsters is just a gift. Sadly, the title is the only good thing about this film. This is a very strange pick and mix of a film. It hardly makes any sense, it's very inconsistent, and scenes just don't mar up with each other like you would expect them to. I would theorise that when making this film, they've taken three or four failed scripts, hacked them together, and then made a film badly. Because it just is so inconsistent and so random that it, it can't possibly have just been from, from, from one script, as it were. I'll try and explain the story and hopefully you'll, you'll see the, just the randomness of what goes on. So it starts with this guy who introduces himself and says that he's a vampire and he talks a little bit about the vampire law and that he he feeds on blood and he lives in the darkness and that kind of thing it's very cheesy but it's kind of intriguing and there's a few scenes of him attacking people in like an alleyway and then they go on to attack people and turn them into vampires and that kind of thing and he's explaining that the the vampire population is growing and taking over earth so it starts out quite quite intriguing but the next scene without any kind of explanation or logic it cuts to a like 1950s style space expedition being headed up by John Carradine and they're kind of going through the, the Star Trek motions and talking to ground control and they run into some kind of problem, which I can't remember what it is, but they have to land on a nearby planet to, to sort themselves out. So when they land on this planet, first of all, the film is then filmed in these weird colorized tints. There's like yellows and greens and purples and, and, and it's like that through the whole time they're on this planet, presumably to give it more of an alien feel, but I didn't care for the look of it. So they land on the planet and first of all they run into these strange like prehistoric creatures and there's a few like lizards that are made to look giant sort of running around and then they bump into this native girl that explains that there's two warring like caveman factions on the planet and we then just get scene after scene of of cavemen fighting each other and hitting each other on the head with clubs and spearing each other and things like that. And then there's a couple of scenes interjected where like they're attacked by these like crab monsters that come out of the lake. One of them is attacked by this flying like vampire bat kind of person. But the whole thing kind of plays out kind of like a caveman movie up until the point where the, the astronauts then leave and go back to earth and it kind of just finishes so it goes from very much a vampire movie to a bit of a dinosaur type film to caveman it just makes no sense whatsoever it it's very it's very cheap looking the spaceship that they're on it looks like it's made of, of cardboard and like i say the the, the colorized tints don't do the film any favor whatsoever I did like the scene where the crab monsters come out of the lake and attack the cavemen, but it's over in like 60 seconds and it, it, it just has no bearing on the film. It just doesn't make sense with anything that happened before or, or afterwards. So it's a very strange, incoherent film. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. I was able to get, get to the end, but it's not a film I recommend because it's just it's not entertaining enough to to suggest anybody else watch it and also it is just so inconsistent it it's almost it's almost pointless because there's no narrative there's there's not really a, 
a start, beginning and end. Or though there is, but nothing corresponds with with what's gone before or after. It's a very strange film. It's um it's one that I'm glad to have because I do, like I say, I love the title, so I'm really happy to have Horror of the Blood Monsters in the collection, but it's not one that I would recommend anybody else watch. So let me know if you have seen this and, and what you think. I doubt there will be many people that have seen this one, but, but please let me know. And thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.